Well, hey guys, and welcome to Solar Cabin Channel. Hey, over the last couple of years, I have reviewed lots and lots of LiPo4 batteries. Uh, and it kind of got to the point where I didn't want to review any more batteries because they didn't show me anything special. There wasn't anything unique about them. They were pretty much all the same batteries with just a different brand on them. Then I got introduced to this one here, and this is made by Cyclenbat, C-Y-C-L-E-N-B-A-T-T. -T. Now what really caught my interest in this battery, first off is the size of this battery. Now this is a LiPo4 battery. It is a 100 amp hour battery, 12.8 volts, 1280 watt hour battery. But I want you to notice how small this baby is. Look at this. Okay, and we're going to measure it here because I'm going to show you uh, why it would be important to have a smaller battery uh, that you can put into tight places. You can put more of them together. Uh, you can use for uh, things like portable systems for making your own power stations, or you can use this in your boats uh, for trolling motors, or you can use it in your RVs, and you could put more of them together in a smaller amount of space, and this only weighs a little over 20 pounds. Okay, so it is much smaller, much lighter, and I'm going to show you how they got away with doing that. Because I was really curious, as how the heck could they reduce a battery that size and still keep the same amp hours, volts, and power capacity as the larger 100 amp hour battery. So let's get into that. Uh, let's measure this battery, and I'll, I'll tell you exactly how big in size it is. Let's measure this battery, and we'll see how big it is. And uh, from the top, it is just slightly over 9 inches. 9 inches. It is just over five, right around five and a half inches wide. And it is approximately, see if we can get a measurement here. And it is approximately eight, eight and a quarter inches high. All right. So I measured this compared to my other LifePo 400 amp hour batteries. This is about half the size. All right. Uh, and weight wise, it's about, probably about uh, two thirds of the weight. Now, how did they get away with that? How is it possible that all these other 100 amp hour batteries are so much larger? Well, the reason is, after I researched this battery, they are using the same type of cells that are used in many electronic vehicles now. They have uh, four larger cells in this battery instead of a whole bunch of the small 6480 batteries. Now, if you don't know what those are, these batteries look like this. This, this is what a lot of LifePool 4 batteries are actually using. They have a bunch of these individual cells they put them all together, then they have to, to, then they have to solder and wire all of those cells together to make a larger battery. Now you can see that there's going to be a whole lot of space if you do that. There's going to be a whole lot of wasted space and a whole lot of wasted material, a whole lot of wasted material which is going to add to the size and to the weight of the battery. So what they've done in this battery is they've eliminated these individual cells. They've gone to four of the larger EV type set life pull four cells, reducing the weight and reducing the size needed for the battery. So that's a really smart idea, and I'm thinking that you will probably see a lot more of the LifePo4 companies start doing this because it's less weight, it's smaller size, you can get more batteries into a compact space. Now, again, I said this is a 100 amp hour battery, but that isn't where the features stop on this. This battery also has a low temperature sensor. That's something that most of the life pull for 100 volts, unless you, uh, unless you want to pay more money, you generally don't get a low temperature sensor in them. This life pull for comes with a low temperature sensor. Now what that means is, uh, in order to protect the battery, life pull for should never be charged below freezing. Okay? If you charge them below freezing, it can actually swell the battery, do damage, and destroy the battery. Most of the LiPo 4s out there do not have a low temperature sensor, and so there's, there's been a result of quite a few batteries that have been destroyed because people didn't take them off their solar systems or their chargers uh, when it was below freezing. And if you use these outside, which a lot of people do in their RVs or their boats or they're taking them camping or something like that, they were getting their batteries destroyed. So they were hooking up heaters and all kinds of things to try and get around that. This battery, which is usually included on much more expensive batteries, includes a low temperature sensor shutoff. So if it is below freezing, this battery has a sensor that will not allow it to be charged. All right, so it won't damage the battery. Now, as soon as the temperature gets above, which has its own internal temp temperature sensor, once the temperature gets above freezing, then it will allow it to be charged up. Now, you can still discharge this battery below freezing. 
but you won't be able to charge it back up until you warm the battery back up to above freezing. So keep that in mind. This is a protection uh, that is added to this battery to protect the battery so it's going to last a lot longer. You're not going to get damaged. And for people that are using these batteries outside uh, for a remote station, for an RV, in a boat, in a camping situation, or using for portable power systems that may be out in very cold weather, a low temperature sensor would be a very good thing to have in this battery. Now, I mentioned that this is a 100 amp hour battery. Well, what does that mean? This has 1,280 watt hours. How to size your batteries, okay? Real quick lesson. A 12.8 volt with 100 amp hours means if you multiply 12.8 volts times 100, you get 1,280 watt hours. Now, what is a watt hour? A watt hour is how, many, how much power that the battery can run over a certain amount of period of time. So if you've got 1,280 watt hours, that means you could run a 100 watt load for a little over 12 hours or 12.8 hours, all right? If you've got a 1,200 watt load, you could run it for approximately one hour off this. So if you know what your watt load is, say that you're running a 100 watt load, which may be something like a refrigerator, and you're going to run it off of this battery, you know that it will run it off, it will run that refrigerator or that 100 watt load for approximately 12 hours. So that's how you determine the sizing of a battery. Now, the great thing about these LifePo 4 batteries is they are completely sealed. They do not off gas. You can put them inside your home. You can also put more than one of these batteries together. If you want, you can stack three or four of these batteries together. If you put two of these batteries together and put them in series, which is positive and negative, you can make a 24 volt system. And these batteries do allow you to go up to 48 volts. So you could put four of these batteries in series and have a 48 volt system. You can put two of them in series and have a 24 volt system, or you could put them in parallel, which is positive to positive, negative to negative, and you could have a larger bank of 12 volt batteries. So you got a lot of features and a lot of features and possibilities of, of ways of using this, along with it being much, much smaller, much lighter with the same capacity, and you're not, and you're not paying for all these individual cells and the space around them. So that makes this battery really stand out. Now, what comes with this battery? This battery does come with the instruction manual, which I really highly recommend that you read. It does include the warranty card. This battery is warranted for five years. It does include the bolts and washers to go on the top of this battery so you can make your connections. And we're going to test this really fast just to show you can be used to power small appliances. So let's do that next. Okay, so here I've got this cycling bat uh, 12.8 volt 100 amp hour battery and I've got it connected to my 500 watt pure sign inverter. Uh, this is made by Energizer. I've had this thing for years and years now. Works great uh, and I use it for a lot of running small appliances, things like my laptop which is running right now uh, and running my small micro fidgets when I go camping. My micro fidgets generally pull about 45 to 50 watts and run very intermittently so they will run for an entire camping trip I can run one of my uh, micro fridges uh, that a lot of people use now I can run off of this battery for an entire weekend okay so it's, they're excellent for that and because these are lightweight you can take them along with you when you're camping real easy to hook up for this one here I just have the alligator type clamps and all you do is hook it up to the battery all you do is hook the clamps up to the battery turn your inverter on and you can see my inverters on because the blue lights on top of it there Plug in your AC appliances, and here I'm running my laptop. So I'm running my laptop off my inverter and running for this. Now it pulls, this laptop pulls only about 40 watts when it's running, if I'm running videos or something like that. Pulls less than that, like about 20 watts uh, when I'm just browsing the internet or something like that. So it would run, that would run this. Remember what I said your load is, you've got 1280 watt hours. If I'm running this, let's say, let's say it takes 50 watts, that'll make the math a little bit easier. That would run this for over 24 hours. Okay, running continuously, just running my laptop at 50 watts. All right, uh, it would run one of the micro fidgets that I use all the time here at my cabin. It would run one of those for 24 hours, a little bit longer than that probably. So this would be a good system with a small 500 watt pure sign inverter and a battery like this for a power station for emergencies. Now you say, well, how do I charge this up? There's a couple of different ways that you can charge this. Uh, one way is you can charge it directly from your AC power. You can use one of these. This is a 120 volt, 20 amp uh, battery charger. Uh, it will work with 12 volt or 24 volt system. So if you have one of these batteries, it will charge a 12 volt. If you have 24 volt batteries, two of these in series, it would charge 24 volt. 
And these are real simple to use. Basically, all you need to do is plug this into a wall outlet in your house, set it for the correct battery, and it will remember whatever battery you're using. And then you have then you have your alligator clamps, which you clamp the top of the battery, and it will charge it up. And you can just ignore it. It'll charge it up and then shut off when it's safely charged. Now, I do recommend that after it's completely charged up, take it off the charger. Don't leave it on the charger. But it will charge up. And this has worked very well. I've used this on all of my life before batteries. Uh, for charging them up and works really well and charges up very fast. In fact, it'll charge up a battery like this in probably less than four hours, three to four hours. Uh, we'll charge up a 100 amp hour battery with 20 amps. So that's really good and that's a real safe way that you can charge them up and you can get these on Amazon as well. Other way you can charge these up is with a solar pan. And I recently did a review on this. This is the Ecosonic 100 watt. It's actually 120 watt, but it's listed as a 100 watt uh, portable solar panel that you can open up Send it, set out and it comes with a uh, USB and it comes with a built-in USB charger, 12 volt charger. And if you connect this to a controller, you can charge up this, you can charge up this battery. And it will take you probably about five to six hours, maybe a little bit longer, uh, depending on how much sunlight you get. But using a 100 watt uh, solar panel, you can recharge this up. So if you're camping, you can take away, take along one of these portable, you can take along one of these very portable and lightweight Solar panels made by Ecosonic or one of the other brands. You can charge this battery up, just set it out next to your camper, charge up your battery, use it for a power station, or you can use these in your RVs, you can use them in your boats, uh, you can use it as a backup power station for your house, whatever you want to do. And like I said, I really am very impressed uh, with the size of this battery and the weight uh, and the capacity because of the way that they have used the EV type cells, they've greatly reduced the size and the weight and they also include that low temperature sensor, which I think is, which I think is really important and very impressive, impressive for this battery. They've really done a great job on this battery. Again, this battery is, again, this battery is made by Cyclinbat. That is C-Y-C-L-E-N-B-A-T-T. -T. It is a 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, life pull 4, 1280 watt hours. You can put these in series up to four batteries. If you want 48 volts, you can put two together for 24 volts. It does have a low temperature sensor and a five year warranty. I would really go and look at these, especially if you're building a portable power station or you need to put more batteries in a smaller space like in an RV or something like that. I would definitely look at these batteries. All right, folks, I hope that was educational and entertaining and have a great day.